Let's check out how GradingPal integrates with Google Classroom. I am in my Google Classroom and this is my United States History course. In order for this to import into GradingPal, you want to have at least one or more students added here, which I do. And now we're going to head back over to GradingPal so you can watch how easy the import is. I would like to add a class and in order to do that, I'm going to connect with Google Classroom. Here is my US history class and I'm going to select continue. This has my 11th grade students in it. United States history. I'm going to select other and hit import classes. Now I'm on the Grading Pal by Elena AI homepage, and I have my US history course available to me right here. Now I'm ready to create my assignment. I'm gonna select new assignment. And for this example, I'm gonna do writing and essays, but you can also do video and audio. And I have two choices. I can upload files or create from scratch. I have this assignment already created that I'm ready to upload. I'm just going to make sure that this description looks great and go to create rubric. If you didn't have a rubric, you can always generate one with AI. Mine has been imported for me, so now I just want to go through, make sure this criteria looks good, remove or add criteria if needed, provide any additional grading instructions, review feedback settings, which include feedback style, Feedback length and tone, I'm going to leave it as is and select Create Assignment. I'm going into my Google Classroom to make sure my assignment automatically posted. And you can see it right here, and it's even labeled Grading Pal. This is ready for my students to review and complete. Now I'm signed in as a student named Kevin, and I'm going into my teacher's class and I see the new assignment has been posted here. I am ready to submit this, so I'm gonna attach a file. And I'm gonna turn it in. Now I'm going to go back into my class because Grading Pal has scored this assignment for me. I'm gonna select my student's submission and view it. And you can see here the student received an overall score of 100% or 16 out of 16. As I scroll, I can see the total points for each rubric indicator. I can also select evidence and it will link me to the area of the text that helped justify that rating. You have an option to edit or copy these. And I'm going to continue to review each rubric indicator and the total number of points the student received. Let's say I wanted to change the indicator score. I could change this to proficient and adjust the comments here. Under the student feedback tab, you can copy or edit the overall feedback and you can review these targeted feedback comments and where they're linked in the text. You can edit these with AI or make manual updates. And it's ready to be returned to the student. I'm going back in as a student to view my graded assignment and you can see 
that the student will see they received a 16 out of 16. Now you're ready to start using GradingPal's integration with Google Classroom with students.